India can effectively deliver anything in space. That powerful assertion by Dr. Subbarao Pavaluri, President of the SATCOM Industries Association or SIA, sets the theme for the second edition of DEFSAT 2024, a three-day summit where the future of space and defence technologies merged into one. DEFSAT 2024, spearheaded by SIA India, is a beacon of India's celestial aspirations. This conference serves as a melting pot for a diverse array of participants, including government officials, military commanders, industry experts, academics, scientists, and pioneers in disruptive technologies from India and beyond. From one distinguished guest to another, the conference was a resounding success. Featuring an impressive lineup of chief guests from various sectors, including the Chief of Defence Staff, General Anil Chauhan, Lieutenant General Gurmeet Singh, the Honourable Governor of Uttarakhand, former Defence Secretary Dr. Ajay Kumar, and Dr. Samir V. Kamath, Secretary DDRND and Chairman DRDO. The event showcased the breadth and depth of expertise driving India's space and defence initiatives. This gathering of luminaries underscored the conference's significance as a hub of innovation and strategic discussions reflecting the collective ambition to propel India into a new era of space exploration and defence capability. This Amrit Kaal As India goes through Amrit Kaal, it is time for building a highly capable Atmanirbhar defence space ecosystem, said the Chief of Defence Staff, General Anil Chauhan, inaugurating DEFSAT. The inauguration was on the 7th of February, 2024. General Chauhan highlighted how, from space augmentation to exploration, the government has envisioned big targets for the nation. Moving beyond the vibrant atmosphere at the event, DEFSAT delved into the expertise of Dr. Ajay Kumar, former Secretary, Ministry of Defence, who elaborated on the evolving landscape of space exploration and utilisation. The point is that space is now opening up and in fact it is exploding. And countries across the world recognise the potential of space, both from a strategic perspective as also from a resource perspective. because. Once you are in the satellite, today we are seeing satellite communication becoming very big. Your ability to do surveillance and actually do imaging from the space so that you can get better utilization of resources on Earth is improving because of space. The event wasn't just a platform for speakers to share their wealth of knowledge. It also served as a vibrant stage for numerous companies to unveil their latest products. Beyond the exchange of groundbreaking ideas and strategic discussions, the conference turned into a showcase of innovation where companies, from startups to established industry giants, displayed their cutting edge technologies and solutions. This convergence of minds and machinery exemplified the event's role as a catalyst for progress, marking it as a beacon for those looking to shape the future of space exploration and defense capabilities. Government, when it announced the reforms a few years back, a lot of startups also have come out. A lot of private industries also have shown interest in working the space technology. That has opened new vista for not only space-based private industries and startups, for the defense also to acquire the new technologies which work for their requirements and their end users. Well, this is my second uh, time to DevSat. I was here last year. And I found it a very good conference last year and it's turning out to be an excellent conference this year. This is about um, communicating with the uh, Indian government in some areas, the Indian industry and, and involved in space and all sort of stakeholders. So for, I'm an Australian, I, I come from the uh, Space Industry Association of Australia and also represent Leo Labs in the Asia Pacific region. And this is a great place to understand what's happening in India, to make contacts, to build networks and build partnerships, which hopefully will you know, uh, benefit us all over time. As DEFSAT 2024 unfolded, the energy and anticipation were palpable, not just among industry leaders and experts, but also within the vibrant community of students who gathered at the venue. 
Strat News Global had the privilege of engaging with many of these bright young minds, capturing their excitement and aspirations as they navigated through the corridors of innovation at DEFSAT 2024. Their voices, filled with enthusiasm and curiosity, reminded us that the heart of DEFSAT is not just in its presentations and exhibitions, but in the opportunities it creates for the next generation. This is Darpan, this is Deeraj, and I'm Pratik. And uh, we are students from RV College of Engineering. We are in our third year and he's in his final year. And we are here at DEFSA 2024 representing the college and our uh, student space technology club called Team Antriksh. So Team Antriksh basically has two factions. We delve into both domains of my uh, nano satellite fabrication and sounding rocket fabrication. So my plan and aim in life is to like create a defense manufacturing startup and a, a whole industrial complex here in India. Uh, from the uh, semiconductor devices, everything and up to guns and artillery, everything will be created here in India. So we don't have to rely on anyone else. But 20 years ago, it was impossible to build a satellite for anyone else as a government. And now we can see, you know, there are, there are 10 companies here that are building their own fleets of satellites. DEFSA 2024 has set a new benchmark for excellence and collaboration showcasing the power of unity in pursuit of common goals. As we look to the horizon, DEFSAT moves forward with the resolve to turn the visions shared here into reality for a safer, more connected and innovative world. Team Strat News Global in New Delhi.